Hello and welcome to another wonderful video. Today we're going to be talking about things that you can do in Ponytown. Things to do. This is going to be a list of 10 things that you and your friends can do in Ponytown. Uh, and yeah, so we're just, we're just going to get into it. We're going to talk about these things. So uh, number start, starting off with number one is just, it's just, a, it's just a role play. You know, uh, you can role play a lot in this game. It's kind of one of the main appeals of this game for some people. So uh, anyway, yes, uh, RP is one of the main appeals for the uh, game for some people and players and, and such. RP is kind of the main appeal for people. And of course, uh, you can always do it clean or do it, uh, well, not clean. Uh, there's obviously both options and there are people here for both. Uh, so, uh, yeah, basically that's kind of it for that. There's not really much to say about it other than, like, uh, you have the, uh, slash roll command, which will allow you to roll dice, and you can actually customize it to be ro roll 20. If you type in slash roll 20, you will get, uh, a number out of, hey, 420, oh my god, that's funny. Anyway, yes, you can roll, uh, d20s and, uh, 10s, like, d10s, like, there's all kinds of options here uh, for dice, which means there's more options for RP. So if you wanted to do a, D a Dungeons and Dragons t style RP, that is completely and entirely possible for you to uh, do. So anyway, moving on to the next little small little game here. I had to get I had to get a friend. Say hello to I have a hat. This this is I have hat. This is my friend, uh, and they are going to help me with this next uh, part of the video. Uh, so essentially, uh, this next part is red light, green light, and to play this, it's it's it's, it's pretty much just like red light, green light. If you ever played that before in your childhood, or if you know what that is, essentially, uh, you you say red light, and the players have to stop. If you say green light, then they have to move forward. And uh, yeah, if if you uh, <laughs> if you say red light uh, and they continue to move as you say red light, then they lose and they're out. And this this, this so that makes this game better with multiple players. Uh, but this is the only this is the only person that I can really get on right now. So uh, uh, yes, uh, we're gonna have this character here, uh, and they're gonna play. And uh, essentially, what for this for this to work, they are going to move forward while I'm looking at them. As soon as I turn my head, they are going to stop. They, it kind of lagged a little bit. <laughs> the, the point of it is to actually be able to go all the way up to the other character and boop them. So essentially, uh, they move forward, and then as soon as I turn my head, they stop. Uh, anyway, uh, so I can move my head forward again, and then they can finally come up here, and they can boop me, and then that's that's essentially how they win. Uh, so yeah, that's basically red light, green light. I like the idea of um, the fact that like if, if, if I turn my head, they have to lay all the way down. Uh, that way they that way um, they have to actually press a button when they stop and if they don't stop fast enough Then they can lose or something like that. you can add like a rule like a two-second rule If you don't if you don't lay down in two seconds, then then you're out as well as if you continue to move forward Yeah, that's red light green light. That is the second thing that you can do in uh, Ponytown so the third thing here on the list is make homes or ponies. So of course there is the option to create your own little unique homes here. Uh, look, we can put we can put crates here if we really wanted to. We can do all kinds of crazy things. Look at this. I can spam these tables all over the place. Uh, yes, uh, you can do all kinds of sort of th sort of things with this. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna seal up this room with a little crate. Oh no, oh no. Look, I'm gonna go in here now. I'm, oh, I can't go in there. Cause, but yeah, you can uh, customize your own little houses and stuff like that in Pony Town, and that's something fun to. Do do every once in a while and since they have the slash reset command there's no harm in uh essentially loading up your house let's say i i have my house uh see i have my regular house here uh that you may have seen in a previous video uh but that's besides the point uh yes so uh making making homes or if you really wanted to you can completely leave the area and uh edit and just create whatever character you wanted you can go new uh and call it hey guys sort of thing and just do all kinds of sort of things you can give it a horn and this and uh this and that and uh, all sorts of things we're just gonna do like random stuff here and try to try to show off the thing here you're gonna make them solid black here for some reason i don't know why with an with an orange cutie mark i don't know <laughs> and then and then this <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Just a, a, a character customization, uh, which is actually pretty good. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of another thing that you can do in Ponytown. Whenever you're bored or you want to do something with friends, you can invite them over to your, your uh, little home here. Just invite, just invite a friend over. Let's say I'm just going to call my friend up right now. Hey, come on, come on, friend. And then your friend shows up and they're, and they're there and they're, they're going to they're gonna build a house with you. That sort of thing. Uh, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, just if you if you wanted to, that's another thing you can do is make homes or make ponies. And uh, if you wanted to do something with someone else, 
make a home. You can know you can you can use the uh, slash reset command, slash reset house command. I mean, and that will give you more or less a blank slate. Uh, we still don't have the clear house command, which we all need. We need a clear house command. We need it. We we need it now. Uh, but anyway, yes. You so you can edit this house to your heart's content, and there will be no. Uh, no, no repercussions whatsoever. You can do whatever you want, and then uh, if you if you did eventually like what you and your friend made together, then you can save it with the slash save house command, or you can just uh, say that was fun, and then just load your house, and uh, all all of the progress that you've made will basically be gone. And uh, yeah. And next up, we have uh, at number. I skipped one, so we're gonna. <laughs> I actually, I legitimately skipped one, but that's fine. Uh, at number four here, we have tic tac toe. Uh, now this one's gonna require a little bit of work on your house, your home, and that sort of thing. Uh, and you are gonna need a friend because obviously tic tac toe is a two-player game. Uh, so again, you can reset your house with the slash reset house command. But we still we need a clear house command because that would make this so much easier to set up. But essentially, you're gonna do that and remove all the loaded furniture, all that sort of stuff, and then set up a little a little, a little three by three grid here, out of, either out of stone or like out of red carpet or blue or green or whatever but if you choose red then either players can be red so uh i'm gonna be i'm gonna be blue carpet and they've chosen to be green carpet so they're gonna be green carpet and uh yes we're going to uh we're gonna play so essentially yes it is literally just tic-tac-toe so i'll put that one here and then wait for them <laughs> that's that's better kind of uh anyway uh so they move there so i will do here and uh yes essentially this is literally just uh tic-tac-toe uh if you're tight on space then you can use this the uh like place down a few carpets of whatever color of your choice and that will allow you to save space this would fit inside a very small room so if you did happen to have like a uh, like the default house you could there's supposed to be, there's actually a room over here i think yes there's actually a small house right here so if you really wanted to you can actually set this up inside this house as soon as you reset so you wouldn't have to necessarily like destroy anything and really have any much really much of a setup at all or you can just use this as a grid itself just use this as your grid and keep in mind that this is obviously the corner so i'm gonna i'm gonna do green it's, it's better it's better if you do actually set up the grid because it makes more sense uh anyway yes so that's tic-tac-toe essentially uh and yeah uh moving on let's let's go to the one that i accidentally skipped here we go uh the one that i accidentally skipped which is never have a ever uh which is essentially uh, done in the same-ish way that is um, that uh, VR chat does it, which is uh, basically every time I say never have I ever, never have I ever burnt a hat. And so uh, if they have done that thing, then they have to move forward. Essentially, uh, as as you say things uh, in, in, in that sort of thing, they have to move up one. Whoever is uh, basically the last one inside the water is the winner because uh, eventually you get all the way to this last board here. And then if you had done the thing that the person said, then you will fall on the water. Uh, I have it set up for three players, but of course you can have this set up for as many as you want. And uh, yeah uh you can also change this up a little bit and be like if you haven't done the thing then then you move forward or if you have done the thing then you move forward you can do either way both work both are a lot of fun but of course set up the rules before you start so next up on the list is make a board game just just make a board game now i had to uh, because of the uh, last video where i made the house and everything uh i had to kind of try and remake this board game uh based off a of screenshot so i haven't completed like remaking it here but uh yeah <laughs> anyway uh so this is this is the board game um if you don't know i made a board game of pony town and it, it had like lots of roles and stuff like that i actually have a video for it maybe i put it up in the card over there over over here somewhere or something i don't know uh but essentially yeah make your own board game C come in here clear out your entire house it, it would require you to clear out your entire house you can set up any kind of roles you want maybe you want to roll a 12 uh, like uh, to simulate two dice instead of uh, just one or uh, out of a hundred or whatever. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then maybe this does something to me. Uh, I've ex I've explained uh, the rules in this. What the? F what the what? <laughs> just like teleported back and forth. That was weird. That was that was actually kind of weird. I, I don't know what just happened there. But yes, uh, essentially you can make your own board game in uh, Ponytown, have all kinds of rules. There's all kinds of ways to do it. I am trying to come up with another one too that I can do. Really, ha making, a, making a board game is a lot of fun. So maybe, maybe you want to get your friends involved and make a board game or maybe you want to surprise them. Uh, but yeah, you can make board games in Ponytown. So uh, I, would, I, would su I, I suggest and uh, definitely recommend doing it because it's a lot of fun. I've had lots of fun you know, on this board game before. So uh, yeah. So moving on to the uh, <laughs> seventh one. <laughs> 
Um, the seventh one, not moving on to the seventh one, there actually seems to be an issue. I don't know if it's they removed it or if it's because of the time of, of year, the season thing, or what the deal is. But seven, I had it planned for um, basically a clover race where you uh, will do slash clover with each other so that you both know how many clovers you've collected. So I've collected 25 apparently. And from there, after that, you will give each other a timer and you will go out off the island then i'm not gonna get off the island because you know I, there's no point in that since i'm since i'm kind of stuck like there's nothing there's nothing to find uh but essentially you'll go off the island hunt for clovers get as many as you can and then after that a lot of time you will meet back up at the docks and then go to go, go inside the house and uh do slash clover again and just compare whoever got the most in that amount of time did would be the winner uh and this is this is a lot of fun too because uh there there was or are multiple clover patches i don't know what's going on i i guess they were i, I want to say they removed it but that doesn't make any sense i don't know uh i think it's just something to do with the season but that's that's strange if they ever do add it again this is something for you guys to uh try and, and uh play around with i guess moving on to number eight uh is rate and critique ocs so i actually have a character here that is known as a uh, general raider uh by the way this is my normal spot this is usually where i am uh when i'm in ponytown so if you ever want to run across me this is where i'm at uh let me zoom out actually maybe you can kind of get a better idea of where i am uh this is my usual spot here uh it doesn't require any friends or anything like that but of course it, get a friend and you maybe make a contest out of this where you're both trying to rate OCs and you have a line maybe up here and I have a line here or something like that or uh, multiple different friends with lines or whatever and the goal is to get the most amount of uh, people to approach you or something like that which actually is a kind of a style of um a uh, game that I had in mind where you would have to try and lure people in and you sit next to your friend or not too close to your friend but like for example I'm at this torch maybe have them sit up at this torch and then uh, do all kinds of crazy stuff and uh, try and get the like the most attention or whatever and whoever comes up to you and boops you first is the winner uh, but for this one uh, number eight is to rate, rate and critique different OCs so uh, the best way to do this literally is to just create an OC known as like something raider or yada 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 critiquer or something like that and people would generally come up to you on their own what is that person doing with that that apple up there i don't i don't like where this is going yeah just rate and critique ocs let them come up to you and uh if you do do this i'm not i'm not big on raiders or anything like that so if you do do this uh please critique and uh, rates responsibly and uh respectfully and actually just be honest about it Anyway, moving on to number nine is Hide and Seek. Now, the Ponytown map is actually quite large, uh, and it's actually gotten bigger over the years and such. And that means the Hide and Seek is kind of actually really good here. Uh, for this one, you are going to have have to have some mutual agreements with your friends and stuff like that. First off, uh, you have to discern where is off limits. For example, there may be places like... Uh, like up here where I'm literally off the map right now. Well, aside from this tiny little slip of a shadow, um, maybe you don't want that that to be a place that you can hide. So you would have to, you know, go to each other and respectfully agree not to do that. Uh, I think what would make it more interesting is if you have your zoom up like really close, maybe up to like level four or level three or two or something like that. As long as it's not level scale one or whatever, I think that would be, I think that would be another thing to make it more interesting. But essentially we all know what hide and seek is. You would start on the party island, um, come up with whatever amount of countdown timer you want. Maybe you would give them a full minute to go and hide on the map somewhere or maybe not. And uh, essentially they have to go and find you. And then you can also set up another timer if they don't find you in that amount of time and you win uh, since it would be kind of uh, difficult to like be like, oh, okay, I give up or whatever uh, since it is Ponytown. I guess you could whisper to them and stuff like that, but uh, that's besides the point. Oh gosh, this guy, they, they teleported. Anyway, as I was saying, there are many places on the map to hide such as here uh, and stuff like that. There's all kinds of interesting places. And again, uh, it's really interesting to just kind of set up a timer and see if you can find your friend or something like that uh, before your allotted time or whatever expires and then that's that uh, anyway uh, so uh, w real quick about the uh, the hide-and-seek version of it there would have to be mutual agreement as well on if you're allowed to move uh, and that sort of thing and I think it should be something along the lines of you can move a little bit but not a lot um, I say this because it makes sense to be able to move because it just it just seems fair to be able to move but at the same time 
it uh it does if you're key if you're moving and they're also moving there's a very good chance you're going to completely avoid each other so uh I, I think that needs to be addressed as well so uh, anyway moving on to number 10 and number 10 is quite simple actually just start chatting it is, it is a social game after all, uh, and that's really kind of the point of Ponytown is to come together and meet other people with similar interests and uh, have fun chatting and meeting new friends. And really, that's all. That's that's what the game's about. So uh, number 10, I know it's anticlimactic, but number 10 is our big grand finale here. Uh, the 10th thing to do, probably the best thing to do, is to go around chatting to different characters, and, and uh, not characters, but like different people and such. So uh, yeah, uh, with further, without further ado, that's going to do it for the video. So do not forget to like, subscribe, share, do those wonderful things, because when you do those wonderful things, you get access to wonderful content such as this. I don't know if this is wonderful content though. Uh, so uh, yes, do those wonderful things, and until you do, and until until next time, just uh, stay wonderful. And um, uh, I've said this in my last video, but I do have a new Discord server that is dedicated to Ponytown. So uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> also, is this person gonna like chat? Do they, do they, do they want to chat? I guess not. <laughs> or do they? Lockwing? Did did you did you want to chat? <laughs> okay yeah see like i said this is what the place is for you come and you come and meet new ponies and uh yeah that's that's really that's really what it's all about um it's about meeting meet, meeting new friends and doing cool new things so yeah until next time do those little things but i did mention previously in the last video that uh i, I started a new discord server uh and if, if you want in on it um you can message me at me at denny ball sub hashtag 9979 on discord uh follow me there or whatever <laughs> you may or may not get invited after that uh and we are maybe in the middle of a contest at this point probably after the contest is probably when this will go live so uh i will be doing contests in this in this uh, discord server so there's gonna be fun things to do there but anyway yeah that's gonna do it for the uh video so until next time like i said do those wonderful things and until next time and uh while you wait for the next time uh stay wonderful